Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, it's tuning in through our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, for a lot of us, we are getting back out there on the road. Spring break is coming up here in Mississippi, so I know families will be traveling. And one of the things that's on the minds of a lot of people other than the gas prices, or new vehicles, if you're planning on getting a new vehicle this year. Well, we're excited to welcome Micah Muthio to our program today. Micah is the video editor at Kelly Blue Book. We're going to talk to him not only about what you guys can expect if you're going car shopping this year, but also the best family cars this year and what you can look for in them as well. Micah, thank you so much for the time. really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, always a pleasure to talk about cars. Yeah, you were um, mentioning what uh, can shoppers expect in 2022. Um, let me be the guy that gives you the bad news and tells you that we can get ex- expect more high prices and continued low inventory. And that sounds awful, but I will give you a little glimmer of hope, which is that um, uh, at Kelly Blue Book, we look at the, uh, something called the average transaction price. And that's just the average price that car shoppers pay for a new car. And the good news, I guess, is that that number peaked in December at $47,000, which is positively outrageous. And now uh, it's dipped down closer to $46,000. So it, it's come down a little bit, but it's still more than 11% higher than it was uh, same time last year. So uh, car prices are still really high. And that's for new car. In used, used car space, it's even worse. Um, you know, uh, used car price peaked in uh, December at $28,000, um, and now it's a little bit closer to $27,500. But that's still a 29% jump versus the same time in 2021. And the big bummer is that the um, the tightest uh, availability for vehicles is in the under $15,000 category. So as is often the case, the people with the least money to spend are the ones that are affected the most. Wow. Well, Micah, uh, Kelly Blue Book gives us the information, whether we want to hear it or not. So <laughs> I'm excited to have you on to be able to let our audience know what to expect. But I do want to ask you this, because there are still people who are going to say, you know what, I have to get a vehicle. You know, I, this is something I have to do. Can you kind of share some tips for car shopping, whether we're talking about online or going to the dealership? Yeah, I, you know, I know my gig seems like bad news, but I'm going to share some good news now, which is that uh, as – modern car shoppers, you are so powerful. You have so much power at your fingertips. So back in the olden days, you might go down to the car dealership, you have a single point of contact, and uh, you try and like learn as much as you could, but um, it's just very hard. You couldn't do comparative shopping. You couldn't um, figure out the entire range of vehicles. You might have to look at the magazine. So these days, um, the, the things you can do that I would recommend to you know have a really great car shopping experience, item one is to figure out what you have. Most people who are buying a car are going to sell their current car or trade it in. So figure out what your current car is worth. Um, you know, Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com is a great resource to figure out what your current car is worth. And then do a bunch of research. Uh, figure out, because you need to know what you what, what is going to meet your needs? We're talking about family cars today, and you might not know which family cars are out there. There are a bunch of new vehicles that um, you know, and, and also features. There are vehicle features that you, if you have if you haven't bought a car in the last five years, you might not know to expect in your vehicle. So just do a bunch of research, and then I'll, I'll add one more thing too, which is that before you go down to the dealership. Um, It's good to pre-qualify for your financing. Um, That gives you a really good sense of what you can afford. Um, So you know that before you go to the dealership. And then when you're at the dealership lot, um, if they offer you financing and they offer you a better rate, you can take it. But uh, at least you've already got, um, you know that your financing is covered no matter what. So uh, those are uh, maybe some quick tips for for how to uh, make a good car shopping experience. Well, Kelly, Blue Book is always letting us know what are the best ones out there when it comes to vehicles, Micah. So when it comes to the best family cars, what topped the list this year? 
Yeah, you know, let's just dive in with the very popular three-row SUV category. These are mid-sized three-row SUVs, the Hyundai Palisade. Um, you know, this kind of speaks to the point I was making, which is that if you didn't know that Hyundai had gone through this renaissance over the last five years uh, and that products have become truly excellent, you might not consider a Hyundai Palisade, and you really should. Uh, it can seat eight people, um, has a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, which offers great reassurance uh, and gives you great confidence in its reliability. And it also has some really great family-friendly features. There's um, a really neat feature that comes standard called Safe Exit Assist. And what that does is that it can detect if a vehicle is approaching from behind and warn the occupants, hey, don't open your door right now. There's a car going by. And it can even lock the door so that you don't open your door. <laughs> you ever see like a car door get ripped off in a, in a movie? You don't want that right. happening with your family car. So uh, the Hyundai Palisade helps prevent that. Um, and then I'll also mention like the Toyota Highlander is another three-row SUV. It's the best-selling three-row SUV in the United States. It's an IIHS top safety pick. It has a standard suite of active driver assist, like lane-keeping assist. So if you're uh, momentarily inattentive, it'll steer itself back into its lane. And especially topical now because of high gas prices, you can get it as a hybrid that returns up to 36 MPG in the city, which is outrageously efficient for a vehicle that can seat up to eight. Wow. Well, Micah, well, we got got a mixture this time, right? We let our audience know, hey, there will be some sticker shock if you can find what you're looking for because of inventory. However, there are some <laughs> things that you guys can be able to look forward to, and we appreciate you sharing that with us. Again, everyone, Micah Muzio has been our guest. Video editor, Kelly Blue Book. Make sure you guys head over to Kelly uh, Blue Book's website, which is kbb.com. That's kbb.com for our audience. We will be linking that up for our online audience as well. Micah, really appreciate you stopping by and looking forward to having you back on the program again. Thank you for having me. This is a this is a fun. We'll see you on the next one. All right, then you got it. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.